Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new to this channel, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications, when we post the video on the channel. In part 3rd of this video series, I covered questions number 36 to 57. If you have missed that video, you can find a link in a card to watch this video. In this fourth part, I will cover questions number 58 to 70. The question number 58 is, what are the different temperature measurement methods? There are several temperature measurement methods, including thermocouples, resistance temperature detectors, thermistors, infrared pyrometers, bimetallic temperature sensors, and non-contact temperature sensors like infrared and ultrasonic sensors. The question number 59 is, can you explain the working principle of a thermocouple and provide an example of its application? A thermocouple consists of two dissimilar metals connected at one end. When there is a temperature difference between the junction and the other ends, it generates a voltage proportional to the temperature. An example of an application is temperature measurement in industrial furnaces and ovens. The question number 60 is, what is the advantage of using an RTD over a thermocouple for temperature measurement? RTDs are known for their high accuracy and stability over a wide temperature range. They have a nearly linear resistance temperature relationship, making them ideal for precise temperature measurement in laboratories and industrial processes. The question number 61 is, how do you ensure the accuracy of temperature measurements using an RTD? Ensuring the accuracy of RTD measurements involves regular calibration against known reference standards, often at multiple temperature points. The use of precision resistors in the measurement circuit and proper lead wire compensation are also essential. The question number 62 is, what are the main advantages and limitations of using non-contact temperature measurement methods like infrared pyrometers? Infrared pyrometers are advantageous for non-contact measurements and can measure extremely high temperatures. However, their accuracy may be affected by factors like emissivity, distance, and the presence of obstructions between the sensor and the target. The question number 63 is, what are some common temperature measurement applications for thermistors? Thermistors are often used in applications where a highly sensitive and compact temperature sensor is required, such as in medical devices, automotive engines, and HVAC systems. The question number 64 is, how do you address temperature measurement challenges in environments with extreme conditions, such as high radiation or extreme cold? In such environments, special temperature sensors or protective enclosures may be necessary to shield the sensor from extreme conditions. Additionally, accurate compensation techniques and calibration are vital for maintaining measurement accuracy. The question number 65 is, explain the concept of emissivity in infrared temperature measurement. Emissivity is a measure of an object's ability to emit infrared radiation. Infrared pyrometers rely on emissivity to calculate temperature accurately. Different materials have different emissivity values, and understanding and setting the correct emissivity is crucial for accurate temperature measurement. The question number 66 is, what is the significance of traceability in temperature measurements, and how is it achieved? Traceability ensures that measurements are linked to recognized standards and can be consistently reproduced. Achieving traceability involves using calibrated reference standards, documented procedures, and maintaining a clear measurement chain from the sensor to the standard reference. The question number 67 is, in what situations would you recommend using thermocouples over other temperature measurement methods, and why? Thermocouples are recommended when high temperature measurements are needed, or when durability and reliability in harsh environments are critical. They are widely used in industries like metallurgy, manufacturing, and aerospace due to their versatility and robustness. The question number 68 is, explain the concept of loop calibration and temperature instrumentation. Loop calibration involves calibrating the entire temperature measurement loop, including the sensor, transmitter, and control system. It ensures that all components work together to provide accurate and reliable temperature readings. The question number 69 is, explain the principle behind resistance temperature detectors. RTDs operate on the principle that the electrical resistance of certain metals increases predictably with temperature. 
Platinum is commonly used in RTDs for its stability and linearity. The question number 70 is, what is the significance of the three-wire and four-wire configurations in RTD measurements? The three-wire and four-wire configurations are used to compensate for lead wire resistance in RTD measurements, ensuring more accurate temperature readings by accounting for the resistance of the connecting wires. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.